Exercise 11. These partially completed income statement columns from a 10-column worksheet are for Johnson's Bike Rental Company, and we're asked to use the above information to determine the amount that should be entered on the net income line of a worksheet. Well, this one's pretty easy. We start with the amount of our revenue rent earned, 142000 from which we subtract 63048 in salaries expense, 8946 in insurance expense, 20874 in office supplies expense, 4402 in bike repair expense, and 27122 in depreciation expense on the bikes. Net income is 17608 Requirement 2 asks us to prepare the company's closing entries. The owner, C. Johnson, did not make any withdrawals this period. First, we close the revenues to income summary. We only have one revenue account, rent earned. To close rent earned, we debit rent earned 142000 and credit income summary. We have five expense accounts, each with a debit balance. To close the expenses, we debit income summary and credit each of the individual expense accounts. The total of our expenses, 124392 is debited to income summary. Then we close income summary to capital. Our net income amount, 17608 is debited to income summary and credit Johnson's capital account. 